Computer. Begin sequence. Stanley. Ryder. Well, we got new content to see. I think. I think. Let's find out. All of his contact has gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When am I going to see you? I know you're somewhere around here. So every time I pass through this way, I see this yellow box thing first and I get confused every time thinking there's something new. What I'm really looking for is this bastard to walk by. Oh well. Oh, oh ho ho. New, new con- Oh, you can even hear the buzz. New, new content. Well, don't mind if I do. See what happens. Oh good, you noticed my sign. Yes, I have something very exciting to show you. Me? You shouldn't have. What do you got for me? Is it goodies? Only one way to find out. Orange. I got car light. Wow. 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 Floating the entire game everywhere, all the time. Oh, we can just skip all that stuff, thankfully. Wow, no stuff. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley parable Me and too. about how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe version has turned out to be. The original Stanley parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So okay. forget I this agree. ultra deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable 2. Oh my god. The squeak wolf. Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully fledged sequel. An entirely new experience built from the ground up. Why there are so many possibilities. It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. I want to see the bird. I want to see the birds. But I guess not yet. Haunting me. God damn. What's that computer? Nothing. Two. Again. Oh, four. Two. Seven. The squeak wool. Wow. Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier oh than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable 2. Now Sequel that's soda. an artistic statement right there. It's future oriented. It screams progress and innovation and long term franchising potential. Digital painting. And, um. Certainly not a certain operating system background, surely. I can. You can even hear the slight hum. I can't at least. What does this say? This is someone's office. Don't need to intrude. Look, they even got red little cubbies? Boxes? Well, I guess these things are the cubbies and then these are the boxes. I don't know. What the fuck are you supposed to. Your candles! That'd be a cool candle to have. Oh. I see. New mug. Nope. Bird. Computer. Who's that? I'm gonna hazard a guess. I'm like using the different angles. Seem. 
I'm going to hazard the guess that this is supposed to be someone's fan art of Stanley and a personified narrator. Possibly. If it's not that, I have no fucking clue then. Oh well. Wow, office art. The plate. The birds are singing. Two. Old and busted. Wow. Wow. Red. Write that down. Red. The doors aren't. They should be colored in that one. At least one of them should be red. Or at least get red somewhere in that part of the time. I mean, I know it's in the two or down there, but whatever. Let's see. Every pause button is Roman numeral two. Meeting at two. Something, something management. What's this? I'm using the angle so I can see it. Uh, one plus one is two, minus one is... Oh, okay, I see. I'm talking before I have my sequel. I'm learning everything. What's this? More Stanley Parable. What? Soda. What? Oh. This water cooler's seen better days. Oh, God. Telephone. Super red cups. Computer. Oh, he's got all those alternate little logos. I understand. I know there's supposed to be some sort of Easter egg around here, but I forget where it's at, actually. I don't think it's this one. Oh! Oh! Projecting it! Ooh. Mm. Thanks for attending my meeting. Actually, this one, right here, where it's, oh, I guess, like, right there. That's cool, but I don't think your average person will get it. I mean, that's the winner. These are interesting, but that's the winner for sure. Oh, these little icons. I don't know. What's this? <laughs> What's this? Now this is the gaming experience. What's better than this? Nothing. Now to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going these to chairs. be. But let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. Scrum. Like a media scrum. I don't think... Is that the... I'm watching you. Oh. Hey, it is that one. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't fucking read whatever that says. You want me to press a button? How about this one? Oh my god. Egg. I can't fucking read whatever that says. Uh... Pepper? Tastes good, whatever it is. Wow. Says something. Speed run. I've had my fill. I could make many a jokes, but I will refrain. Let's see. Portal 2? I personally like Portal 2 better. 
Half-Life 2 I don't like as much. I prefer Half-Life 1. Uh, I haven't played those Batman games. I haven't played the Divinity games. <laughs> I'd say probably Doom 1 is probably better than Doom 2. Yep. Uh... That last one is a good question for anyone. You'll get many different answers. Crab. Something. Twos. Two. What's this? Two. Oh. Now this is some fun design. Wow. Computer. I already spent like 11 minutes just for this thing. I wonder what this way would be. I can hear the wind. I'm an investor. I have three quadrillion dollars. Give me a reason why I should give you half of it. Cheers. What is this? Job city and the content. Baby. Cheers. Oh, there's a... There's a... There's a dude back there! I see. Well, Ryder, it's time for your squeak wolf. Expo Hall 2. Chair. Wow! Wait. Elevators. Wow! The squeak wolf. The soda. Now let me go back. Bastards. What if I wanted to play Eat Game? Oh well. Here we are. Uh, go on. Try out some of the new features. Wow. Um. Uh, what's this? Wow. Now. Besides the shirts, but above the shirts, that little funny QR code. Um, last I tried it, whatever months ago, I think it went to like some fake site used to uh, advertise the Ultra Deluxe or give a mock up for a fake sequel. I don't know if it still goes there. Um, if it doesn't, yeah. This one looks like a sports shirt. This t-shirt is the best new feature. Truly. You know what? I think I need my bucket from the get-go. A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical. That it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. I well, guess. I'm happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. You see, bucket. Stanley, anytime you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. Bucket. As long as you hold on to the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will Give feel me the goddamn bucket. Normal. And perhaps... Give me the motherfucking bucket. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring you son cognitive of a bitch. Give me the bucket while the bucket is in your arms. Hey, shithead, pass it's me the bucket. It's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Hey, fuckhead, Can you give imagine me the what a bucket. pain in the ass that would be? Yes, the yeah. bucket is he the perfect to. solution. Come on, give it a try. Bucket. <laughs> Can you feel it? 
Yes. The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. I love my bucket. And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? I think that just holding Me? it has Can made I you the smell? slightest bit more attractive Probably. as a person. Where'd this door come from? The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? Bucket. All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable too. Wow. Can I leave? Oh, I can. Something else I'm supposed to do. I don't know. Bucket. Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? Let's see a Stanley. That really should be an award if it isn't already. Um, we'll go this way. Oh, look at these funny little lights. Wow! I'm a little high energy today. Name. Uh, just go in. For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? And of course, the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? Can't reach. Hello. Someone's stomping about in the distance. Computer. Hello. Jim. Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. But of course, in the final game, it. this button will say your name, it. whatever name that is. Here, let's have you role play as Jim press to really simulate the full experience of this feature. Just play along. Speed run. I promise you'll love it. Speed run. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath. Speed run. Clear your mind. Forget whoever you I'm are and those simply keys. become a person named Jim. I'm slamming those keys. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Those keys. I wasn't finished setting up the backstory. If you don't properly roleplay as Jim, then you'll never understand the impact of this button. Otherwise, it's just a stupid button that says somebody else's name. Okay, we're doing it again. And this time, let me finish first. I'll be <clears> considerate. <throat> now. Allow yourself to become Jim. I'm Jim. Imagine yourself driving to work as Jim. I'm playing Jim. frisbee on the weekends as Jim. I Staying up all night for a popcorn and horror movie sleepover as Jim. Developing a crippling substance addiction as Jim. I fucking love crack. Rediscovering yourself through fringe religious groups as Jim. I and fucking finally, love space dying God. a slow death at an old age, surrounded by members of your cult as Jim. I'm sacrificing you space God. You feel it in your soul? Are you really, truly Jim right now? Yes. If so, then please step forward and press the button. Jim. <laughs> yes! You see? What a thrill! What a rush! That was you! The button described you. Do it again. Do it again. Jim. Ooh, it hits even harder the second time. If this were the only new feature in the Stanley Parable 2, it would still be worth the money. Chair. Let's take a break from the gym button. Okay. I'm too emotionally drained from all of this personal validation. You got it, boss. You could press it again and then it'll take it away. But I'll be kind. I'll be sweet. I suppose I could allow only people named Jim to play the Stanley Parable Oh my god, too. that's Jim. That would actually save me the work of finishing this feature. I heard Jim. Well, sadly, I won't be able to play Stanley Parable 2. I'm a funny reindeer. Funny reindeer named Luminous. No screenshots. Wow. Look at that carpet. Look at that carpet. Look at desk 999. Aw, the baby's, the baby's all grown up. Still not getting that ending. Hearing every noise. 
Wow. The work we put in. Reap the results. Wow. Ray traced. Not on my computer. I can't handle a ray trace. But also, I don't like ray tracing. Look at that. Wow. 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 Uh, let's go in here. Send the cripple too. Hey, Ryder. Two. Okay, I'll be honest. I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could Ooh. use a bit of decoration, like balloons. But I'm Ooh. undecided on get well someday and happy 12th birthday. Which Ooh. would you go with? Oh, I'm being prompted. Um... Well... You have to use your big brain to get the one you want in this case. You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Get well someday. It yeah, works. that's the one I wanted too. Ah, uh, squeak. There's more. Squeaky and shiny, just like me. We really made progress here today. Oh my god, they're all in the scenes now. Yeah, I think the... Or actually, maybe I should have gone with... No. No, I've made my decision. We're moving on. See, these these are going to look good with the environment. Last last time I played, I had the uh, happy birthday one. But these ones, these ones I like. I like this time around. Where am I? It's down here. Oh, is this the hole? Wow. Oh. Wow. Oh. Wow. More hole. Even more hole. We have to see hole. By God, Stanley needs hole. Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's oh. never been done before in a video game. This is, in fact, a hole that you can fall mm. down forever. That's right. Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. Wow. Wow. Oh my god, it's whole time. You see, isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Hole. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, and we can continue onward. Hmm. Oh. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum of things. Oh. Okay, Stanley. I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite nature of the hole. Is it a very, very deep hole? To be certain it is. It's an extremely deep hole. I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. It is. Is it infinite? Well, that sort of depends on your definition of infinity. From one perspective, the infinite is merely philosophical in nature. It's Ooh. more of a... Oh. Okay, well, good for you. You found the bottom of the hole. You oh. found me out, Stanley. Oh, I'm a liar cigarettes. and a cheat, and you're Yummy. so clever. Look, I think Bug. the issue here is just that you're unusually fascinated by falling. What normal person actually wants to fall infinitely? Me. I figured the hole was as deep as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me. Maybe you're the problem. <sighs> Uh, things got a little heated there. I think we both said some things we didn't mean. Why don't we just put all this behind us and agree to just call the hole 
mostly infinite. Right. If right. that works for you, then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole and we can move on. I'll just be up here when you're ready. Oh. Great. Now, I'm very excited to show you even more of my ideas for the sequel. Now, I didn't cause trouble in the button room. That just means I could cause trouble in the hole. Oh, for heaven. You see, I was right. The problem is you. The problem is that you like holes too much. I fucking love oh. holes. A normal person would have said, yep, that's an infinite hole right there. Goes on forever till the end of time. Don't need to see it all, but not you. Oh, no, 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 no. You have a weird sort of... Oh. Did the hole seem even shorter to you this time? It does. I couldn't help but feel like you spent a little less time in there than you did before. I mean, admittedly, I didn't make an infinite hole, but I didn't think it was that not infinite. Well, I suppose once again there's nothing to do here. If you decide you've had enough of the hole, you can hit the teleport button and come join me up above. Had enough? I'm positively thrilled. I really do have so much more to show you and to talk about, and I've had enough of the hole for a lifetime. Hole! Gosh, how could I have guessed? You're back in the hole! If this starts to become a thing with... Wow, okay. Yes, I'm starting to become extremely certain that the hole is not only not infinite, but that it's growing steadily less and less infinite. Oh my god. I suspect that I'm starting to hit the point where it's no longer feasible to call the hole infinitely deep, even by the lax overall standards for accountability and marketing. What's going on here? Stanley, I have no explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole's length. Here, let's try something. Let's pop back up to the top and we'll see if it gets any shorter. You got it, boss. Well, there it is. The shame of my lie has come to haunt me. Got not it. only is the hole not infinite, but it's barely even a hole at this point. It's more of a concavity, or even a very aggressive divot. Oh! How is this still appealing to you? I know you're obsessed with holes, but at this depth, I just can't see this scratching the itch. Oh. Who am I to judge? You just do whatever it is you're like here to do. Size. Hit the teleport button when you're ready to move on. Hmm. Is the, um, teleport button not working? You sure? Well, I mean, I really don't have an explanation. Oh. It was working just a moment ago. Well, Try I it like... again. Whee. Still nothing? Whee. Well, I suppose... Uh, I'm gliding. I there is one thing I can do to fix this. I'm out. Goodbye, Stanley. You couldn't bear to be away from the hole, and now you'll get more time with it than you could ever have asked for. It's a win for everyone. You get to be with the hole, I get to do literally anything else. I'm spinning. Take care, Stanley. I We're hope rotating. You and the hole I'm rotating. Have a wonderful rest of eternity together. I'm rotating. I'm rotating. Well, I'm rotating. I'm rotating. Weepy. Oh. The hole's waking up. What do you got in store for me, hole? Oh. Down I go. I can still kind of spin about here.
my god. Oh my god. Oh, my reality. Whoa. Eh. Ooh. Okay, well, that's not bad. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. Doggy. Now, this is heaven. Oh, myself? Eh. Not that one. That's okay. I don't like that one. I really don't like that one. Ooh. Maybe. Ooh, that's like a lot of track. I know which one I want though. I like that Stanley. one. Stanley! Stanley! Uh. Oh good, you're awake. It seems you had sort of dozed off there, drifting away into dreamland. Oh? But we can't have that, Stanley. Because this hole is just so darn fascinating that I want you to be wide awake for every second of it. You don't want to miss a single moment. So how about if I just pop in from time to time and wake you up to keep you really truly focused on the hole? From the looks of things, you and I will have many, many years here in this hole, and I'm looking forward to all of them. Stay alert, Stanley. I'll be back. Toodle pip. Part two? No. Oh. Hole ending? What? Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Oh. Hold on. I must I must venture. Oh. Oh. No more hole. Oh well. Whatever. Little relax area. I see you, big man. I get. You know what, Stanley? I actually think the jump circle was a pretty good idea. I'd like to hang on to that for the sequel. I forget. What is it to get a glitch in here? Hold on. I gotta use my big brain for a second. Surely I'm not looking at something. And I sure as hell am not just killing for time so I don't have to... Well... You know. You know. Hold on. What? But I see. I understand everything now. I'll give you one more. Okay. That's enough jumping for now. We don't want to overdo it. What's this? Wow! Jump circle, yep. Map, yep. Free achievement, nope. Button, yep. Merch, yep. Settings world champion, not yet. Resource bucket, yep. Office decoration, yep. Epilogue, not yet. Collectibles, not yet. Infinite hole, yep. Exit, not yet. Okay. Um. 
on. Whoa. Whoa. All right. My hands are off the thing. Keys are stuck. Where do you want to take us, game? I'm not pressing any of the keys right now. Game, you're supposed to lead us on your own. You got me stuck. Ah, well. Just love those stuck keys. Not to be confused with sticky keys. Oh, look at Mostly infinite hole. This will be important for later, but not yet. Oh, mostly infinite. So did I do this one right in the first fucking video? Whoa. Hey, it paid off! I knew that first video would pay off. Aha! I can see you've gotten the setting hey. world champion achievement. Well done. I'm not playing a you've version with the achievements. You've experienced every setting. Travel to all corners of the settings menu. There's nothing you haven't seen. So, just for you, in the Stanley Parable 2, I'm including an entirely new setting. Yeah. Something called Bump Scosity. What exactly is Bump Scosity? Well, I haven't quite figured that part out yet, but I wow. just know that you'll be able to adjust it on some sort of slider, and that it'll be available from the settings menu. We'll sort the rest of the details out later. I hope you're looking forward to trying out every level of Bump Scosity in the Stanley Parable 2. I did it. Oh, I got my little trophy. Settings World Champion. I could put a soup in here or a stew. Well, we gotta test the setting. Fuck yes, sir. I've adjusted it. Oh, that's new. Epilogue. An epilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Yes, yes, it will go at the end of the, um, uh, well, we'll figure that out later. We will. Okay. You'll get your funny epilogue, but not yet. We still got so much to do. We can't go to the epilogue this early. Not yet. Can't believe it's that simple. Trophy. Even though now, I can't here's get something special. Oh. You remember that broken test achievement that got uh, left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing boxes. a technology to simply give you the achievement. Car. Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever, oh. and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It's as simple as that. This is a machine you go in to die. The death machine. Oh, I'm stuck. The death machine is killing my frame rate ever so slightly. Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Right now, the achievement is still fully broken. I'm not a wizard, Stanley, but I guarantee it will be fixed in the sequel to at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who have been uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers, we hear you, and I promise it will happen. I trust you. I'll be back later. What else? What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? Uh, I think just this one. Can I find them? I gotta collect them all. Wow. Ah, collectibles. Now it's wow. a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, I should put collectibles in one of my games. Miniature Stanley figurines. Oh, oh, oh I want to put collectibles in one of my games. Is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. Oh my god. Everyone is here. Hey, big man. Oh my god. Ryder! Yes! Yes! 
fucking sweet. That was a delight. God, it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely tragic. All right. Jump circle. We got like 33 jumps left. We're going to save them for later. This map sure is. Tree achievement, button, merch, settings, bucket, decorations, epilogue, collectibles, infinite hole, blah, blah, blah. It's time to move forward. Move onward in our life. Wow. Look at these cool fucking arts. Red. All right. Have you seen everything you wanted to? Fuck Ready yes, to sir. Move on now? What's that? Oh my god, look at him. Some people want to fuck Stanley. And for that I say, your office job awaits. No screenshots. I'm going to walk around here. Wait. So Stanley, okay. what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yes, I Fuck know it's yes, not exactly sir. clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. Science. I'll arrange oh. these new features together, and we'll see whether or not it coheres into I'll a meaningful me gameplay experience. Oh. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Okay. Are you ready? Here it is. Yes. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. Wow. There's a collection um, over there. Well, um, I mean, there's potential yeah, here, yeah, right? This. It's sort of... Okay, never mind. Hold on. Oh, Let me do a different arrangement. Okay, it's okay. Yes. take this out. Yes, this is much better. I feel good about this. Here we go. Version 2. Ooh. Scary. Uh, who am I kidding, Stanley? It's got a little abstract feeling this to isn't it. a oh, coherent video game at all. It's a it's lot of machines. gags. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their so own. Good. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait. Maybe that's it. Maybe I can take it. the original Stanley oh. Parable and simply, there he is. well, insert a few of my new features into it. Please there he is. Stanley with Rider. respect, with care for the vision oh my God, he's and integrity the of the too. original game. Would it possibly work? Mm, I suppose it could, but it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the Stanley Parable 2. Two. Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> I can't right, wait, sir. Perfect. Go ahead. Take Let me see it. Let me see it. Oh my god. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, it's curving and shit. Whoa, infinite office hallway. Well, we gotta give it a spin, don't we? This is the story. Let's see. All of his co-workers There's the gone. balloons. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Let's see something. Oh! Hey! Hey! Stanley picked up the bucket. Bucket! Oh! Let me look at something real quick. Okay. Um. Um. 
you know what? I'll be kind. I'll give one bucket ending. Just one. Before we head out. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. I'll be kind. I'll be sweet. I'll be neat. Um. Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Bucket. Perhaps his boss's office was what? where he'd find answers. I wonder. Well. Oh, Stanley. Can you feel it? Can the I feel it? The broom closet. It wants the bucket. You can feel that, can't you? The aura of jealousy? It's as clear as day. This broom closet believes it deserves the bucket. I can really feel it now. It's a bucket. It belongs in a broom closet. That's what the broom closet is trying to say here. It's supposed to go with the other cleaning supplies. Good for you, Stanley. Don't give in. This don't is mine. hand over the bucket. You don't I get know my how hard bucket. it must be, given the pressure that the broom closet is putting on your shoulders right now, but you have to be strong. This is your bucket. This I'm is strong. your companion and lifelong friend. You can't hand it over. Oh, no. We're getting into name-calling now, it seems. Is this oh. how low the broom closet has sunk that it has to resort to this stream of petty insults simply in order to get you to hand over the bucket? Stanley, I never liked this broom closet for a variety of reasons, but even this is worse than I had imagined. And wait, now the broom closet has the gall to imply that you and the bucket are not truly deep and lasting friends? Oh. That your relationship is purely superficial and convenient? That no. your life is so banal and meaningless that you'd feel the same sort of kinship towards any inanimate object which happened to lay in your path in an even partially enticing manner? Well, I never. Go on, Stanley. Lay into it. Really tell the broom closet off for its demeaning comments. Expand on the wide variety of experiences you and the bucket have shared together. Go through each of them point by point. Share your journal entries detailing the rich emotional landscape of your feelings for the bucket as they have changed and evolved over the years. Let him have it. I forgot what I was going to do. Okay, I got distracted. I've got you something which I think will help settle this debate once and for all. You guys Here we go. Oh my god. There. Now it's settled. It's no nine. more debate, no more discussion. Take a hike, broom closet, yeah, with all your meandering yourself. philosophical diatribes about suck the nature it. of cleaning supplies and their relationship to broom closets in the natural order of things. They should make a level where you play in this thing. Stanley, one inch tall. All right, I've got a second sticker back here, and I'm going to slap it on as well because I think it's appropriate. Really? Oh my you god. See? I a bucket, feel a bucket. that it works because the sticker is also a bucket. That way, if you're ever unsure whether the thing you're holding is a bucket or not, you can look down at this sticker and say to yourself, Oh, it's a bucket. There really is a wide variety of applications for this sticker. Can I get a third sticker? Dare I ask for a third sticker? Can I get a third sticker? Please? You know what? I could take the name calling and the dismissal of your kinship with the bucket, but now the broom closet is just giving us a silent treatment. And to be honest, I'm sick of the pettiness on display. You can stay here all you like, but I've had it with this impetulant room of cleaning supplies. Easily the most childish such room I've ever been in. I'll see you outside, and we can get on with the story about you and your bucket. Okay. Well, I move forward. Where am I going? Oh yeah, I'm giving one more ending. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Stepping wow. into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Wow. Crushed by the wow. weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire, if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. Fuck it. Even now, in his darkest of hours, did the bucket's warmth and guiding light pierce the dark clouds of confusion and chaos. It would be with him, always. The bucket would. And he knew it. Can the bucket the tell me the code? The two of them were inseparable. 
At this point, Stanley was so absorbed in the tender spiritual connection he shared with the bucket yes. that he didn't notice the keypad behind the boss's desk. What keypad? Nor in his bliss of simply being near the bucket did he have any notion that the pin number for the keypad was 2845. Who did that? But Stanley Who's pressing the buttons? correct code by sheer luck. Was it the bucket knew all along? Yes. Was the bucket guiding him? Yes. Yes. This is certainly the most logical explanation. Truly. Bucket, we gotta go. We gotta get out of here, Bucket. 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 The elevator raced downward, plummeting towards an unknown fate. Where are we going, Bucket? It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the Bucket. Oh, thank Soothing God for Bucket. him, comforting him, thank reassuring you, that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. Thank you, Bucket. The Bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. Thank goodness. Watch out for the sparks, Bucket. We gotta get out of here. Stanley and the bucket walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Wow. Darkness. Bucket press this button. Thank you. The lights rose on an enormous room wow. packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley and the bucket oh, both wondered is. to themselves. Button. The monitors jumped to life, and Stanley nearly dropped the bucket in shock. Wow. Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. Wow. The bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst into tears oh. as Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring it that everything would be fine. We're going to be fine, Bucket, you and me versus the world. But. Was the bucket under the mind control facility's influence as well? No. Had the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to do? Oh, what no. What kinds of things does a bucket want to do or not want to do in the first place? Oh, my These God. These questions raced furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. Green. We gotta get out of here, no! bucket. No! He screamed into the bucket. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! He squeezed the bucket tighter, his one friend in the entire world. At this point, bucket. he could trust no one except for the bucket. We gotta get out of here, bucket. But here was the By proof, God. the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content. Walking, By eating, God. working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he and the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. Two best friends, Stanley and the bucket, up against the world. They high-fived in a really cool way. Yeah. And the bucket made a sassy comment about taking down the system. Yeah. Oops. But at the last second, the bucket jumped in and pressed the button to turn on the controls. Oh my god. Stanley gasped in horror. Had this been the bucket's plan all along? To take over the machine and claim the power for oh itself? Oh my god. How could the bucket have betrayed him like this? No. Stanley was prepared to throw the bucket away in no. disgust when suddenly an image appeared upon the enormous screen. Birds. Oh. Silly. Birds. Silly birds. The control buttons became active again. Whoa. What's this one go to? Oh my god. Oh my Stanley god. Stanley flipped through one video of silly birds after another, and then it dawned on him. This wasn't a mind control facility at all. It was a facility for monitoring and surveilling silly birds all over the world. Oh my god. The oh. mind controls were only a facade to disguise its true intentions. Had the bucket known this all along? 
Stanley marveled at the metal genius in his hands, the one who had pointed him towards this incredible discovery. Stanley and the Bucket never found freedom because they spent the rest of their lives here in this place, like living this through live streams of the silliest Look at birds go. imaginable. Of all the possible paths his life could have taken, this one was surely the best. Truly. And Stanley was happy. Ah. The birds are singing. And you know, since Stanley was happy, it's time for me to go. Goodbye bye. -bye.